<laughs> so this is probably the dumbest thing that we've done. <laughs> it's cold outside. It's real cold outside. So Maria wanted electric bicycles so that we could tootle around. And so we, we bought some and they shipped them to a friend's house. We went and picked them up. But it's too cold outside to put them together. So this is how much room they're taking up in our camper. <laughs> we we put them is, in the fifth wheel. Yep. That's it. That's and we're going to try and put two bikes together in, in the fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. So this is probably all going to get edited out. That or we're going to find out how good our our V insurance is. Well, we're not going to ride them inside. <laughs> if I put them together, it's getting ridden. Not in here. Mm -hmm. I don't even think there's room to physically unfold it in here, especially not with this box. All right. Observation one. <clears throat> You see this side of the box? One handle. It's got one handle there. It's got a jankety kind of handle there. Just a hole, really. Now, this side, it's got one handle. No handle. Electric. Put, we need a handle about right there. By the way, it takes two people to move this thing. <laughs> well, it takes two people to get it up the stairs to an RV when it's 30 degrees outside. You could not, you, you're saying you could have picked that up and carried it somewhere by yourself. Mm -mm. All right, it takes two people. Getting it out of this box is gonna be fun. <laughs> this, is, this is a bad idea. All right. There it is. Whose idea was it anyway? Hmm? I said, whose idea was this anyway? It was yours. To bring them inside. Well, <laughs> I had a plan as to how we were going to do this. My plan got foiled. Okay. All right, let's grab a hold to it and let's, I guess, set it right here. Let me... Uh... It's all as one unit. It's got to come out as one. Yeah. This thing comes. Really, I'm running out of room here. I'm literally up against it. But it, I mean, it, it comes really, really well packaged. I have an idea. Um, I mean, it's. You want to hear my idea? What? Let's put this box outside. Well, yeah, that's, that was step two. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get it out of here. I'm going to have to fold it in half. Yep. Good thing it folds. Is that a saddlebag? Mm-hmm. Looks like it. How about that? that was That's a, a fanny pack for your bicycle. That was a freebie. Came with our Black Friday special. 
Uh, what, else, what else came with The big cushion seat was one. Mm -hmm. Phone holder was one of them. So it came with a phone holder. Yep. The owner's manual. There's the lock. There's a bike lock. And the charger. Well, that's it. I mean, we didn't even need any tools to put it together. It just all kind of just hooked up. It is bigger than I thought. I don't hate it though. Like, I, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, it's. That is a. That's much bigger than our other bicycles. <laughs> it, it looks like a quality item. <laughs> Stella looks terrified. You just wait. Your little present is coming. This is how you know that their design with RVers in mind. It comes with a pre-ride safety checklist. Good idea. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are building a swagman another <laughs> swagman bike rack this one is for our new e-bikes here it is it is the swagman e-spec carries two bikes 70 pounds per bike i think we're gonna have to take our batteries out to put it on there but that's all right it has a two inch receiver, fits most frames and sizes, folds up against the vehicle, <clears throat> and it locks. And we did buy the extra fat tire trays. So, yep. this came from e trailer. Uh, <laughs> nobody sponsors us, so <laughs> this is all out of pocket. But we really liked the, the other one we had. It worked great for the mountain bikes. So we decided to go back with this because it's got the, the this, best weight capacity. This is why, right here. That's a biggie for us because this is where it's going to ride. Right back there. So we're probably not going to do as detailed an install as we did with the first one. Um, but I am going to kind of you know, go over the gist of, of what all's in this. These are gonna get thrown away. Because they're not gonna work for us. I hate that. I wish there was a way we could recycle those. Yeah. Of course it comes with the hardware. Yeah, if you want to see our other video on putting this Swagman bike rack together, we did that a few months, several months ago, maybe a year ago, and I will link that to this one. We use that for our regular mountain bikes. I believe this one is a little heftier bike rack because the e-bikes weigh a lot more than a regular bicycle would. Alright, almost got this finished in the box. Alright, so last time I did this in the living room and then we, we put it on. That this time the e-bikes are in the living room and there's no room to do it. Yep. 
so. <laughs> and they're charging, so. <laughs> I guess what we'll do. So I know that goes like that. And according to the instructions, that hole, I think, goes to the bottom because that's where the screw goes in to keep the feet from sliding off of it. All right, so see it says screw hole facing down. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be on that side. And the screw hole is right there. That will face there. And then these. Oh, I almost forgot. This, I think, is what increases the, the weight rating. Definitely need that. These bikes are so heavy, we have to take out the batteries for it to be in the weight ratio for this rack. <laughs> so heavy. Yeah, if, if any of y'all have, have e-bikes, put in the comments what you're using for your bike rack. We couldn't we couldn't find anything that would support more than 150 pounds, which is what our... So 150? Yeah, 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. Because if we take the battery out, then, then we're good. No, 140 pounds. 140. And Swagman is one of the very few that is actually RV approved. Right for all the movement that happens when an RV is going down the road. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Then we wanted something to be able to go from the fifth wheel to the truck. So if we were to like go to Savannah or when we go to Corpus Christi. Yosemite. You know, yes, yeah. Yeah. So those go on there. I like this because they use square notched bolts and then that's notched there. So you only need one wrench and it, to me, it just makes it easier. I don't know if I've said it before or not, but I love this this toolkit. We got it from Costco on sale last Christmas. And he says it in every product video that we do. But he loves it. Well, it's got just about everything you could ever need. I mean it's And it's compact. And you know, while you did have you did have a lot of more tools when we lived in our house. This one's got all the ones you use mm -hmm. and then it's in a small space, yeah. which is what we needed. And it's got a good mix of open and box in wrenches. It's got three different um, size of ratchets. So I'm just putting these on the bottom of these bolts here. I may in the future come back and put Loctite on these, but the instructions don't request it, so.
And again, you can't put these in backwards because all the bolt holes are square where they're supposed to go into. Looks like it needs to go that way a little bit. So that is the bulk of that. These go in there and that locks. So. That one goes on first. And the short one. If you have a step through bike, there's an adapter that goes from the bar, the handlebars to the seat post for those to clamp onto. This is what makes this thing RV approved is this bolt. And I know it goes right here, but I'm assuming that that goes on there and then that goes on that end, but I'm trying to find it in the instructions so I don't do it wrong. Idea. Mm. All right, so what that bolt does, I have no clue. But evidently it's needed to, to make it RV safe. So this last bolt right here, and this is one of the reasons that, that we like the, the Swagman. And it comes to it. So this is an anti-vibration bolt and it will go in there. It screws into the threads, but it comes with its own lock. So you don't have to buy another lock. So somebody can't steal your, your whole rack. That's nice. So the bikes lock onto here, and then the rack itself locks to the truck. Now, let's get the feet. So for anybody that wants to know, that's the item number, 64679. That's the skew on it. All these parts are metal too, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're all metal. So, as you can see. Big difference. There's a big difference in. Yeah, that's, that's why more, that was so heavy is because they're metal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a three to four inch. That's for up to a two and a half inch, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one's metal too, but. Yeah. So, I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. I probably screwed that on too tight. Now, because our bikes are so big, normally I would put the cradle up like that so that the, the tire didn't didn't roll out, but I think we're gonna have to do them like this because the bikes are so long. I hope they fit. <laughs> I really hope they fit. <laughs> but we'll have one on that side. And one on that side. So what'll happen is the bike tires will be sandwiched that away and you know, if the force goes that way, this one will hold it. And if the force goes that way, this one will hold it. And hopefully it won't come off this rack. That's okay. 
All right. Now he's got both sets on. All right, so now that the, the big things are done, that's where these come into play, and they go on the bottom side of these to keep these from sliding off. And also, once we get the bikes on there, you'll tighten these up to so these can't slide around, yep. right? Just don't know where you need them yet. So the bike lock that comes with it so that comes off and you you can't take that key out until you connect it back up but the same key that does that does the the bike locks so they're all keyed alike and you got four so we're amassing a ton of keys because each one of the each one of the e-bikes came with two keys for the back battery, two keys for the front battery. So that's four plus four is eight. Then another group, that's 12 keys just between the rack and the two e-bikes. That doesn't include the locking clips or pins that we already had for the truck for the way safe. So we've, we've got a whole set of key rings just for but if we've learned anything through all of this, separate the sets of keys. Save them both in separate places in case one set gets misplaced. They're yes. not all misplaced. Yep. Don't ask me how I know. That set of keys did get found. But when we were moving, I lost an entire set of the RV keys, which had the bike lock, the hitch lock, and the RV keys on it. So that was fun. So what we're gonna do, because this truck is a three quarter ton, it, it comes with a two and a half inch hitch on it, a class five. So we're gonna put in a spacer. Hey Stella Bill. And Stella's gonna help. <laughs> the gymnastic move there. <laughs> Good reflexes. All right, so I'm gonna take one of my four keys. That's that. So we definitely can't lower the tailgate because it'll hit. But this won't ever be on here if the e-bikes aren't on here anyway, so. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
doing a great job, honey. Huh? You're doing a great job. You're more graceful than I would be for sure. Moment of truth. Look how big this bicycle is, y'all. It is very large. So here is the Swagman VAR adapter um, that we put on there. It's number 64005. Um, it's like 22 to 35 inches, something like that. It's, it's the less expensive of the two. Everybody that we saw bought the $45 one. This is the is 20. $24 one. Um, but we called Electric and actually had them measure from the neck post to the seat post. They told us it was 22 inches, but I think that is more than 22 inches. But <clears throat> we might not have needed it. It might would have sat down right there. Um, but our other swagman on our Trek bikes where this rubber met the, the body of it, it actually rubbed the paint off of it after about 2,000 miles. It was, I mean, a small spot, but it still rubbed it off. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the with these things here. And you only need it if you have a step through bike. Yeah, only if you have a step through. So we're gonna try and get the second one on here and make sure they both fit and show you that. Come on, you're spry. Of course. Alright, you got that? Is that enough? Yep, perfect. Let me the other. Alright, so for this, you just push that button and that thing opens up. I just wanted to show the bikes going on here. We'll do a review of these. There they are. They actually fit. I'm kind of surprised. These bikes are huge. 